right? You're already blocking all the conservatives. You're already blocking, like I did a video on the walk away campaign, Facebook being shut off. You're like, these are not always, these are not all Trump supporters, but these are all people who walked away from the Democrats. You don't think that's like advantageous for the people on the left to say like, oh, we don't want to hear these voices. We don't want to hear these stories about people walking away from the Democrats. Hey, what's up you guys? So I'm coming to you with another video and we're talking about free speech. We're talking about censorship, you know, with all the things about like parlor down and Trump out of Twitter and everything. I figured it will be good to talk about this and this is coming from the Lucky Boys podcast again and again just talking about the discussion and it's something that I want to talk about maybe in another video is if, if free speech is a more conservative value or liberal value and then if they're somewhere in the middle but let's get into it. But first, of course, if you're new to my channel, what is up? My name is Mitch Maverick. Mitch, hey Mitch, Mitch. All the Mitches are pretty much, I like talking about what I talk about. So, current events, reviews, and pop culture within the scope of entertainment culture and purpose. So, TV movie reviews, social political commentary. Be sure to check out all those videos as you're finishing this video. So again, going into this topic, and again, I do want, might want to do another video on this if free speech is a more right-wing, left-wing value, whatever. But because, in a sense, like, the only free only speech that you need to protect is like speech that you don't like, right? There's no point of protecting speech that is already you already like because there's no point of that, right? Not to say that we should condone these speeches, but you need to have the right to protect it just for, you know, we can't just have all the conservative voices be limited out, out of the platforms and everything. And so again, we'll go into it and using this Lucky Boys podcast segment as a starting point to talk about this. So let's get into it crucify them just for saying something or having an idea mm -hmm. so we're gonna go backwards now that's that's what I'm afraid of mm -hmm. that's that's my concern it's a slippery slope like how do we determine who we're gonna silence mm -hmm. if all these companies these competitors they, they agreed to shut this guy down there has to be something wrong right there has to be something wrong if all these companies Facebook Twitter um, you know, uh, all these uh, social media companies like TikTok, they're all shutting him down? Come on. Here's the irony. Come on. Here's what's funny is that Trump was trying to shut TikTok down. <laughs> okay, so I really, ha I really take issues with this. Okay, so just with that la the latter portion with TikTok, I mean, we already know that it's a Chinese company and everything, and having it influence American culture is, is a bad thing, right? We, like, China already wants to be a superpower using the Chinese platform is not is no bueno. Now he's going into the the argument about like well if all of these com com companies tech companies want to shut down Trump that must be for a good reason. Well, not necessarily cuz they're all left wing. Like Jack Dorsey, Z uh, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, Facebook, Google, all these people are all left wing, so they're all a particular particular stance. So when when it comes down to it, I, again, they were saying like it could be problematic if it's a slippery slope that you only have one side of the one side of the political voice being heard, which is true, right? You're already blocking all the conservatives. You're already blocking like I did a video on the walk away campaign, Facebook being shut off. You're like these are not always these are not all Trump supporters, but these are all people who walked away from the Democrats. You don't think that's like advantageous for the people on the left to say like oh we don't want to hear these voices we don't want to hear these stories about people walking away from the democrats you don't think that's advantageous tim pool's facebook got deleted right i didn't do a video but i posted it on my facebook right so tim pool is centrist so he always talks about keeping it real as far as who who is on what spectrum giving the credit where credit is due and talking about like the democrats are not doing this this and this he'll, he'll do it for the same thing for the republicans but for the most part he's talking about the uh, democrats so already he's like I, I get his i get his thought train and his perspective and his stance but it, he doesn't recognize the overall what is going on with the cultural aspect you know academia is on the left Entertainment is on the left. Tech companies is on the left. And so we'll get into it some more. <laughs> Listen, I'll shut you down. Lucky Boys Podcast. How do you feel about the major platforms being able 
to restrict his speech. With Trump, it's sort of like you have to throw all these, all, all these like rights out the window almost, because he just he created this whole like different reality where he's using it to cause damage to our livelihood. So, I mean, honest. So Louis Farrakhan can say all the like anti-Semitic things. You have Antifa that's still on Twitter. You have all of these other people that is on Twitter saying negative stuff, saying devices stuff, right? But it's Trump's fault for being all of this. It's always one-sided. Like, I, I remember, like, this isn't, and this is something that I want to do another video on because I already knew about Patreon. I already knew about Jack Conti. Um, taking away Sardin and Makad back in what, 20, 2019, 2018, right? So they did all of that. Learn to code, like if you wrote that on Twitter, you were gonna be banned because it was making fun of journalists. Learn to code. And so again, it's just where you're getting all of this info that is just so convoluted that he, he, doesn't, get, he, he doesn't get this. Honestly, like when it comes to free speech, and I'm I'm proponent for free speech, and we spoke to spoke about this like in depth about how comedians say shit, and then you know they get canceled, and I'm like you know they they're comedians, so what? Um, but when it comes to like a situation where people are getting hurt, and you see destruction, I okay. So I just see. really quick on that note, I mean, you, free speech doesn't already does not protect incitement for violence right it doesn't it doesn't protect you know the whole like fire in the, in the theater aspect and everything so there's already free speech doesn't already doesn't cover certain aspects but go ahead yeah, I, I think in trump's particular case he's a special he's a sorry on that note sorry i'm doing a lot of jump cuts in this but it just i read i'm really breaking them down as far as their thought process so what the problem is is that saying build a wall you know is that is that problematic is that violent some people say words is violence and so instead of saying like that's an action or that's a dog whistle so a lot of people on the left would say like that that's racist that shouldn't be allowed but something as simple as build a wall should it is is problematic for them special animal like <laughs> i can't i can't i can't speak for any other anyone else but this guy is i don't know man I, I think uh, for his particular case, you know, take take away his free speech. Isn't that a slippery slope? Yeah, it is. It is. It's but very dangerous. I'm very cautious when because I say that. now that they can do that, and you know that, they, and I get it. It's a private company. They're able to do whatever they want. If you don't follow the terms and conditions, I get it. I get it. I'm not. I I, I hate that just because. Okay, so it's a private company. They can do what they want. All of these restaurants and barbers can't do what they want. They're private businesses, and yet they have to follow. So it, everything is leaning towards the left. Saying that, I, but or, or I'm just the idea of America that we should be able to speak against our government if we're not feeling it. Of course, right? yep. We should be able to speak against corporations. Mm -hmm. We should have the freedom. That's what makes America America. That we can voice our opinion, opinion, and not get arrested for it or death sentence or whatever we could get canceled i get that right but we should at least be able to express ourselves I, for better or worse i wholeheartedly agree with that and taking away donald trump ability to do that doesn't that go against what we stand for as a company I, not a, I shouldn't say as a company, but as a country. There has to be some... If we're going to put a filter on him... There, there has to be some sort of repercussions to what he did. You know, there, there, there's a difference between free speech, where you're ex expressing your opinions, and there's a difference between inciting and giving instructions to people to cause damage to our, to our livelihood. Again, it's slanted, because... Okay, whatever, just go I mean, ahead. There, there, there is a fine line, right? But then when I think about, like... Like who? Okay, so yes, there is a fine line, and I can understand it to a certain degree. But who is the gatekeepers to this? It is the left, right? It's always <laughs> he, you, Hitler, and the and the Nazi Party. They fucking use the propaganda to their advantage. Right. Okay? So here's the thing. One wouldn't. What if the other side does that though? 
Exactly. Right? Wouldn't they be able to push their agenda mm -hmm. and promote certain propagandas that are within their interest? Mm -hmm. Of course. There, there's and they are happening from both sides anyway. Right. For, so to, to push their, their agendas. One of the first steps I've ever seen. So many companies did to shut someone down. Yeah. If all these companies, these competitors, they they agreed to shut this guy down, there has to be something wrong. Right? See, again, it's these issues he's not getting because he's not lit. He I, he doesn't. I'm, I would. If he follows Tim Pool, I don't know if he follows Tim Pool, he would get this. But like, these left wing companies have been targeting conservatives, Alex Jones and all this stuff. E even if you don't agree with him, right? They're they're kind of canceling him as a person. They're saying like when Tim Pool had the event like in the East Coast, whatever his talk, whatever, like Antifa was saying like, hey, why why are you supporting this thing? And so they're shutting his events down. Now they're going into bank companies in which, oh, do you know this person is a blah, 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 like, is, um, whatever, is, whatever, and, like, how are you going to do it? So they're, like, now, now they're going into these money companies and, like, saying, like, you can't support this. Even GoFundMe, like, if you support something about right wing, they're like, you can't fund this. This is, like, uh, this is supporting this ism, this this racist, or this whatever. And so, already they're trying to unperson people, trying to limit their income, trying to limit their funds, just because of they are of different political, um, different political um, perspective, uh, assuasion, or whatever. And so, yeah. There has to be something wrong. If all these companies, Facebook, Twitter, um, you know, uh, all these uh, social media companies like TikTok, they're all shutting him down? Come on. Here's the irony. Come of it. on. Here's what's funny is that Trump was trying to shut TikTok down. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'll shut you down. And TikTok shut Trump down. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. It's <laughs> just, it's a bit of irony in life, you know. Oh, and it, but, shit. But, but that's beautiful. <laughs> I think. Okay. Let me just throw this in real quick. Do you know how, like, this is going to be nerdy, but whatever, I'm going to use this analogy. Do you know how for a, a thousand generations the Jedi was the Knights of the o Old Republic? And then for 17 years, no one knew what Jedis were uh, when, when Luke was 17, 18, 19, whatever. When in the, in the time of A New Hope, there was no Jedi, no one knew what Jedi was. It is an old religion, it was an ancient religion, all this stuff. It is because the Empire, the Galactic Empire, like not only hunted down like the Inquisitors, Vader, not only hunted down Jedi, but like the Empire had control of all media. Not to say that Jedi were not only the, what was the line in Fallen Order? So the best line in Fallen Order was Second Sister doing her monologue and saying they're searching for not an ordinary anarchist, but a devotee to the treasonous Jedi Order, right? And so there is a propaganda in which not only do you, not only are the Jedi's enemy of the, the Republic or the Empire, is that they are hunted down anyone who associates with Jedi as a battle. So my point is the Empire had control of all of all the propaganda and info and it's exactly what the left is doing they're labeling all the conservatives as crazy as terrorists and everything it's all collaborative they took away parlor not because the premise was because they're inciting violence or whatever they're propagating violence but they're just taking out market competition like so all, everyone has to use Twitter and now well Twitter's like going down the drain and everyone's gonna end up using their own platforms but we'll see how it goes but the point being, who controls the information controls the narrative. I think it's actually beautiful. Oh, that's, the, that's poetic. Of it, yeah. Isn't that poetic justice? Yes. Oh, man. The crazy stuff, man. I'm, again, I'm not, you know, I want to make it clear. I'm not for spreading hate on social media. Mm -hmm. But I am for freedom of speech. Yeah, me too. And I just don't know where that line See, is. See, again, he's like, oh, the other guy, not this guy. The other guy's saying, I'm for freedom of speech. Um, if... I want to ask him, and I hope I'll probably post it on his comments. Is like, are you going to protect? Are you going to protect hate speech? Because that's freedom of speech. Not to say that you should condone it. Not to say that you should agree with it. But you should 
as freedom of speech goes, you need to allow it. You can't be the gatekeeper. Everyone's perspective on hate speech is different from person to person. There's that's 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 the dilemma here. No one can say what's hate speech because you can say a man is not a woman, a woman is not a man, and and the LGBTQ whatever can say that's hate speech. It's because I don't want hate to be spread and wrong messages where people are improperly educated from either side, right? And and then it results the end result is that a lot of people get hurt and could have been easily avoided. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. Well, you short term it it looks like it's the right thing to do. Short term it looks like yo, shut his fucking accounts down. Shut him the fuck up. Look yeah. what the hell's going on. Right? He only has a few more like days in office and who knows what the hell he's going to do. He's so unpredictable. So let's just shut him down. Yeah. Right? That's one. But then then it can start down a very slippery slope like, "Oh, let's shut this guy down too. Let's shut exactly. this guy down yeah. too." And then what are we gonna do? And then what we're, now we could put laws into place mm -hmm. where people can't, like very loose laws that are vague in their construction or the literature and, and start putting people where we can crucify them just exactly. for saying something or having an idea. Mm. Exactly. We're gonna go backwards now. That, that's what I'm afraid of. Exactly. That's, that's my concern. It's a slippery slope. Like, how do we determine who we're going to silence? Mm. Whose freedom of speech we're going to take away if they're not breaking any laws? So do you think that Trump didn't break any laws? I mean, I'm obviously. If, I, I'm, no, Trump is, yeah. you know, we both agree right. like, where, where we stand on that. But what I'm saying is a slippery slope, mm -hmm. you know, because now that we've done this, now we could do something else. We can begin to cancel other people. Yeah. And it's already happening. I mean, they, didn't they do that with Alex Jones and... Where they shut down every single one of his social media accounts. Yeah, because he was just like peddling like false information and disinformation and stuff like that. But the, the the thing is, like I think there is a slippery slope once you put laws into place to censor people. I mean, censorship. Mm -hmm. Um, I but I I believe that uh, people will always fight back and to question those censorship laws. I mean, no matter what, it, it could be like uh, Edward Snowden releasing <laughs> secrets. To, to the public, you know, military secrets to the public, because thing, uh, the government was spying on us, right? So through our own technology. So there will be people who counteract that kind of censorship. It's just that, you know, I, I go back to the, this case, you know, when you censor a, a particular uh, uh, person like Trump, I go back to an incident, what happened at the Capitol, um, the Capitol Police, he was, a, he was a black man, he's a black man, and when he was running away from those protests, I mean, rioters, they were calling him, like, derogatory names. They were calling them N-word. And so if, if Trump is the person who incited a, an incident like that to, for a person to fear for their life, then he should be canceled. Ah! Uh, restricted from these platforms. I, it's a case-by-case -case ba basis, I think, but in this particular case, he, he should be canceled. Common sense in the short term, that makes incredible sense right yeah. and it seems like it's the right thing to do something has to happen though but in the long term if that starts if we start moving the goal the needle or the goal posts every single time and we make exceptions or we pick, we get to start picking and choosing uh, on what ideas we want to promote and right. leave behind yeah. that can become very dangerous within itself so wrapping it up, final thoughts, and I think the the thing that we have to look into here is that it is a slippery slope, right? And then all of this is all it's all in one side, right? It's if it was, you know, when it came to like banning like Alex Jones and Milo and all this stuff, they were quote unquote the fringe. And, but now you are taking away the president talking to his constituents, whether you like him or not. And yes, he has bad tweets, whatever, fine. But now, like he was saying, the goalpost is changing, right? We, like I said, we we took away the walk away campaign on Facebook. We are taking the um, Tim Pool's Facebook, you know. So it is moving, and but it's not. What what my fear is, everyone on the left is cheering because it's their political side. They find this advantageous until they don't, right? And so, 
Um, there's the, it's the, the gravestone, whatever, like, first they came for this person, and, and then they came for me. But, I mean, the, it's a list of things. First they came for the communists, and I said nothing, and, and, and all that stuff. But, so, it, again, my problem is that all of these, it's, it's not like you can have all of, if, again, all of these companies, it's left-leaning, and so, therefore, it is problematic. And we'll, time only tell to see how far this goes, and how far all of this happened. So, yeah. Um, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll, again, put some more discussion so I can put my brain thinking how I'm going to do this and shape this into another video and everything. So, comment below. Let me know what you think. And then, again, see you next video. You can follow me on my Instagram at HeyMitchMitch. You can follow me on my joint Instagram. It's Mandatory Fun where I do other videos with my friend Jen. Again, I might be on par I might be on Rumble, not Parlor, because that's already gone. It might come back, but whatever. And then see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you.